Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where we are going to tackle a series of contracts with one rocket uh, that involve uh, flying by Luna, landing on Luna and also flying by Solero and uh, going into orbit around Solero but I intend to land there as well as opposed to well, the previous video we landed but not at a particular location hopefully we can land at a particular location. Now they're paying us quite a lot but our rocket is only 2.8 million and uh, well, there isn't much penalty for failing contracts, apparently. Uh, so there's that going for us. Though I suppose they take away the advance, the signing bonus, at least. But yes, so that is what we're going to do. And this is the rocket. I like, I like the previous video. I decided to build it ahead of time. And we've got two landers. That's the shiny portions right there. There's an interstage between them. The top one is the one for Luna. And this one is the one for Solero. And, you know, they, they both basically have the same stuff here. They've got RCS tanks. They're both um, methylox, sorry, hydrolox. They're hydrolox. Hydrolox, hydrolox, and little hydrolox pressure fed engines, both of them. They're basically identical, except that one's tapered. And we'll see how it goes. That's the core of the top one. The core of this one is actually a thin sliver here because that was simpler for putting the interstage. And then, oh, I do have to put solar panels all over the place. We mustn't forget the solar panels. Let's do that. That won't change too much of the Delta V, thankfully. And solar panels are pretty cheap around here, too. So hopefully we won't have them falling off. But yes, and then we have a uh, series of five engines here that are electric mephalox. And uh, these are the batteries. And then these are the RCS tanks. The bigger ones are the RCS tanks. So that's what we have there. Then we have the same RCS thrusters. And then down here, we're using Mephalox gas generator engines for the main boost. And the first stage gives us 3.79 kilometers per second. And, you know, a decent thrust weight ratio. And stage two gives us eight point, uh, sorry, 3.85 kilometers per second. And then uh, the landers, we're not going to get a good read on them because they're sort of combined right now. They need to be separate. So I think putting a solar panels on the top one is probably a bad idea. Those will definitely get destroyed by aerodynamic forces. So we'll leave those off. But the Mars one should have those solar panels. Probably doesn't need them that big. Yeah, we'll leave it be. Okay, so penalty efficiency only 10% though. That's not nice. Anyway, uh, but uh, I like 100%. I want 100% efficiency. Okay, not thermodynamically possible, I know. So, yes, this is what we've got. And let's try it out. We are at the Solero window. We, uh, I don't know if we can... Uh, one or more issues. View issues. Craft is too tall. For oh, right. Right. Yeah, we can't launch from the village pad. We're not that much taller. We're at 15.6, but uh, making it taller than the max size for the village pad uh, has allowed us to make it cheaper, actually. And if we had to fit it within those constraints, we'd probably have to make it more expensive by using stage combustion or something like that. So we are just going to use the alley pad, which is expensive, but the rocket price plus the alley pad price is still cheaper than the launch that we did in the previous video, so. So can we do this? Uh, all these, there's a number 115 and number 113 there. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, lunar and solaro flybys. Let's just verify that it is the solaro window. Close enough. Now, will the moon be in a good position? Luna, I shouldn't say the moon. Be in a good position for intercept? Not super really. So that's a little bit of a rub. But we could probably make do. So it is dawn, I think? Or is it dusk? I think it's dawn. Throttle up. Now fall out. Let's see if this situation is conducive to everything working. Of course, we had some problems last time with certain lander arrangements, but um, we do not have four landers on top this time, so I'm expecting it to work, but we'll see. Launch. Uh, 
up it goes. Up it is sunset actually. You'll notice I'm still using the rounded square tanks. I didn't make a big deal of that, the sort of DCX style tanks instead of using cylinders. And that's because I can. And I'm taking advantage of that fact. Woo. In fact, I've called this Block A. The rocket is Block A because it looks like an off it looks like the Empire State Building or something. I previously made fun of people making their rockets look like office blocks, but it sure works out well around here. Okay, let's not have solar panels break off. Let's throw down. Okay, and separation and ignition. Whoop. Uh, maybe we should just pour it on. Doesn't accelerate that fast. Still just like a 30 ton rocket altogether. Let's see the battery. Seems fine so far. The active stage fuel is depleting faster than the battery, that's good. This stage will make orbit with more than 2.5 kilometers per second. So it's a hefty transfer stage. Should be able to push the landers to wherever. Uh, well, we're ended up ending up in sort of a lopsided orbit, but that'll do for now. 2.63 kilometers per second left. So, Luna's there, but that's on the backward side of our path. We we'll, we can sort of get the lander in a sort of on a high path. So that it can wait for Luna. On the bright side, the Ali pad is closer to the equator, so that solves some problems. Well, we can see there's an encounter there. And there's a Brigo encounter for some reason, but <laughs> well, why are you doing that now, Brigo? Brigo just wants attention. Let's see, we should probably be going well past. Yeah, uh, we want to go past Luna's orbit and come back in. This guy do damage to our intent for uh, Solero transfer, but we're relying on the fact that the stage has a large amount of delta V in order to help with that. It's not too bad as long as we get a Luna encounter right off the bat. That's pretty good. The question is then, after that burn, if we continue on, drop off the lander, and continue, can we get that Solero encounter? Not much extra, you see. That's actually not too bad an approach right now. We could probably fine-tune it. But I think we should go with this series of burns. So the first one is 1.33. Drop off that lander, in theory. And then proceed to the next one. Alright, uh, we are pointed in the right direction. And that's about right. Ignition. Battery is fine. We overdid it on the battery. I put a margin of two times. Calculated we needed two kilowatt hours and put four. We'll need to get rid of some existing craft after this. Because I don't think we have enough craft slots. Okay, here's... Uh, potential Luna encounter. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was a hard stop there. Um, maybe a little bit more. Well, I mean, you know, you have infinite ignitions, so I'm gonna make use of them. Okay, that's a minimum. All right, that's how the lander is gonna be. Can't see a darn thing here, but we need to manually stage the lander, I think. 
Oh, I think it did. <laughs> right clicking on it apparently automatically does it. Maybe? I don't know. I can't see it. Darn thing. So, uh, lander RCS forward. Okay. Well, I think the lander's free. So it's going to be on its way. And I'm going to have it sidestep now. Okay, we've switched to this command disk, which I hope does not bump into the lander. And we're going to add a little bit of thrust here. Tilt up, because the lander tilted down. But also this is prograde. And we are looking for that Solero encounter. Oh, well, not an encounter, at least a trajectory that hits Solero orbit. Okay, we've, we're on escape. Yeah, it's not showing us. Well, we've got approach info there. Well, that seems to be like a minimum right there. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we've got some sort of encounter. Solero. Yeah. Yeah, we'll need uh, inclination adjustment mainly there. So we'll plot that right now. Well, that looks close. Certainly perturbing our orbit a lot. We'll leave it like that. So we'll have to pop back to this one, which is currently in the dark, ahead of that burn, which is just 12 meters per second. Still got 1.4 kilometers per second. I overdid it. But, uh, you know, better not overdoing it. I just want it in daylight. But... And we want to switch to the other vessel. Okay, it's in daylight and recharging. Okay, let's jump to other vessel. So we need to plot a make course adjustment. Oh, that's hitting it. Good. Thirty kilometers sounds nice, and it doesn't really show us our relative velocity right there. But let's just check how much it's going to take to capture. Oh shoot! Come on, move that. Uh, okay, I want that right at the fine, <laughs> right at the periapsis, please. It's a lander, so I might as well get a low orbit. It's got to take 450. We currently have... It doesn't say. Um, okay, well, now it's reading that. 1.45. So hopefully it'll be enough. Okay. Crash that. We're hitting it. That's good. Okay, we are now not hitting it. Okay. All right, it looks a little, sort of like a polar orbit, which is good for getting to particular locations. So we'll continue. Out goes the Solero part. Oh, oh, uh, the battery. Um, turn off the stability, maybe? It's diminishing. It's diminishing. No, okay, wait. Luna's coming. 13% battery. Flyby contract we got. I'll probably go into the landing immediately then. I don't know if we have enough time to loiter for a particular location. Um, this one might come around. Let's see. I think Luna's relative rotation is very slow, though. So probably that's not going to be an option. 12%. So yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit anything polar as this is. Luna base. There's a structure? It says Luna base. Hmm. Anyway, we should definitely, um... Go retrograde now. Up oh, this way. 
and ignition. Everything else seems rather off plane. I'm willing to wait until the battery's at about 5%. We could keep the orbit up. I mean, it depends on exactly what our duration is. Uh, it's not really telling me what my power consumption right now is. We know we've got 164 watt hours. It looks like 60 watts. So we've got, you know, two and a half hours, let's say. Two and a half hours. And this is a how long orbit? Too long orbit. <laughs> this is not going to be good enough. So we can bring it down more. Maybe. We can swing something like that. And then let's see if we. I don't know how much delta V I want to reserve for landing, so a pivot like this, which could let us hit one of those locations, costs a lot. Because we have to be in a low duration orbit. And since our surface velocity is 800, we should assume that we need at least that and so if the delta V of this burn is 338 in order to tilt the orbit, um, we don't have 800 plus 330. I mean, if we add maybe 200 meters per second more, I'd consider it. So what that means is we are going to just go in for a landing anywhere. And instead of trying to hit one of the flags. Oh, it's only 6 watts. Oh, it's only 6 watts when we don't have the stability on. Ah, uh, well, I should have... Check that. We could have gotten to a higher orbit, then it'd be cheaper to tilt our orbit. But now that we're here, um, I think hmm, we could like lift it back up again. It is, <laughs> that's dodgy, though. I think we should just get on with it. I don't know. This one is sort of close. Six watts. Huh? I mean, more than 20 hours. But with the velocity... 840 meters per second already. Yeah. We've only got 1.05 kilometers per second. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not pretend we have a lot of delta V here. Yeah, stage through. I to deploy the landing legs. Okay. That's our descent path right there. And we have 29%. My propellant left. That'll be enough to turn in preparation for landing. Barely skimming the surface here, but that's sort of how we like to have it. It's like this. Very pockmarked around here. Okay, above ground level. <laughs> but surface velocity. 7.7 minutes till that point. Our burn time is 2.6 minutes. Okay, I probably want to land somewhere in this sort of area. These flats here. Okay, so... Stability off, RCS on. Battery 9%. Okay, ignition. Oh god, the solar orbit deadline is in 46.8 days. There's no way. We were we took the contract when we had the solar window, and it's just like no time. At least this one's 237.7 days. Ah. Uh, they never give us enough time for those. I mean, of course, we can force the issue and use a lot of delta V to get there quickly. And obviously to get into orbit, slow down with a lot of delta V. But it's not nice that they just don't give us enough time in general. The reason I didn't put solar panels on here was because we didn't use a fairing and they would probably face a lot of aerodynamic stress on the top with the slanted surface. Maybe I should have traded the two. Well, no, we still wanted... Yeah... 
I, I don't see any easy way of getting around that. But uh, we could have put the soul panels on the bottom surface, though. Okay, file descent. Will this finally be a decent landing for me? Okay, go down, go down. Okay, all right. Land on Luna. I got an achievement this time, even though it technically said I had landed on Luna before. Can you see us off? But... Oh, hold for 30 seconds. It had me worried for a sec there. <laughs> worried because it wasn't check marking that. Okay, so we got the Luna landing contract, which was lucrative. And now we want to do this little flyby. If I end this flight, recover craft. Uh, it's definitely not close enough. I mean, it's retry or undo. I don't want to retry or undo. That'll hurt our other point. So I guess we'll save flight. Save and exit. But we need to get rid of some because we've got 19 out of 20 active craft there. Okay, so this is the one that we want to resume. Okay, well, it is in okay shape. Battery could be better, but... Let's make sure it's recharging. Of course, it's got the electric engines on that stage, so it would be depleted somewhat. All right. And let's see. Uh, I thought I had plotted something for it, but I guess not. Didn't I? Well. I guess maybe plots don't keep? Or do they? Well, Polar is fine by me. Seems like it's getting seriously perturbed by Solero. Okay, that's a strike. Alright, so that's probably close enough. Now, well, when are we arriving though? Because even the flyby is 227 days. Focus on Solero, how long? I don't see my approach anymore. Gosh darn you. I think it's saying more than 200 days though. We're not even gonna get that flyby contract I don't think. Oh no, it says 138 days there. Uh, okay, that little encounter there, 1.2 years it says, I don't know. Is that right? I have no idea. Orbit one's gone. Yeah, this is probably not the case that we're gonna get the flyby one even. Oh well, show me my resulting orbit. That's probably helpful enough. Enter SOI. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I'll take 2,200 for now. We are gonna land anyway. I don't care about you contracts. Oh, it's actually 533 kilometers. That's not too bad. So, we want radial in. We should definitely smack this stage into Solero. We are carrying the empty interstage at the top, which isn't great, but it's not a problem. Solero approaches. That, that site right there looks great. <laughs> that one looks fine to me. We'll keep an eye on that. Take the camera a bit. Okay, right there is retrograde and ignition. We have captured. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not too much. Uh, let's go a bit north. We're gonna go straight into that place. Now, it was the one that we were trying to aim for before. You can see our other probe, but that one we missed. This time we're going the other way around. 
looks pretty lined up right now. But the crater's up there. Let's go north a bit. But you can see how far I'm planning on it here. Okay, 538 meters per second, huh? Gah, basically used double lead time. In other words, the strike twice as... Why are you still sounding like you're burning? Stop. Um, twice as much as our current path to the target. I think we should just go, go straight down now. So, we're very high. Okay, that's that stage. And there's the crater. Uh, well, okay, we got it. Now, um... I mean, here it looks like we're going dead center at, but here it doesn't. Ah, I overdid it. I left myself too much. We'll see. We've got more Delta V than is indicated there. Oh, well, okay, not that much more. Really? Only that much? But then we were exper expecting the atmosphere to do something here. Ah, uh, we're missing the crater again. The thrust weight ratio on this stage was just too low for this. You gotta cut that and just land properly, hopefully. Again. Closer. <laughs> Closer to the crater, but not quite. Mmm, atmosphere has not slowed us very much. I need, like, air brakes. Well, we're, we're gonna smack into it pretty hard. This time, we're not gonna... Ow. Uh, yeah, Solero, Solero is elusive to me. Well, at least we landed on the moon legitimately for the first time. So there's that. The contracts, though. The contracts. Well, I don't think we need to worry about this one occupying space in the active craft list. Uh, indeed, it's 18 out of 20. Uh, Nebra flyby. I don't know where Nebra is. But we better pay attention to how long it takes to get there. It's 600 days, it says. Let me see where Nebra is. Just go with one of these. Well, Urdos is the really far out one. It's got moons? It's got moons. Boreas, Taurus, and Hepaktion. Hepaktion. Tidos has Nebra. Miros and Orcus. Well, I was afraid of that. I bet you it's gonna take more than 600 days to get to Nebra. Even if, uh, as far as the window is concerned, we're not quite right yet. We'd have to time warp a bit. Hmm. It's not that far off, though. It should be, like, if... Tidos is like Jupiter, it should be like 90 degrees. We're a little bit shy of 90 degrees right now. We should toss something over there just for the heck of it. 600 days, huh? Alright, uh, next time we'll just go for a Nebra flyby. I don't know about anything else. We'll take a peek at it. Herma orbit is interesting, but uh, right now we're not at the right time for that anyway. So. We'll see about Nebra, and if we can do it. Oh, while in the flight scene we can't accept... Okay, fine. Um, recover craft. Destroy craft. We might as well. Okay, so Nebra flyby. Accept. Okie dokie, we'll try that next time. Um, should we uh, add a commsat mission? Oh, I'll think about that later. Alright. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.